Yes, well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for the final hour of this week's A Song of Tara, where I have just had a, a, a threat on my life from one of the players, who's basically shall remain nameless, but it was very much Tally, who told us that, that uh, if, if, uh, if this doesn't end on a high note, he's going to throttle me. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is a service announcement. If there are, in fact, no more episodes of this after today, you all know why. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, how much more can you take? Well, actually, that's a, good, that's a bad question to ask. There's a lot more yes. you can take from us. Please don't. Or, then, <laughs> or, my, or else my threat still stands. All right. Okay, guys. Uh, you... Um, you uh, um, are, as I said, you 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 see this this one lone figure up on the um, up on the bridge. A man. I, I I would argue that Liam doesn't see this man. Liam is absolutely focused on getting this net trolled yes. through the river as fast yep. as possible. Saren doesn't even care. There's a man there. She's okay. gonna so he... walk over him if he stands in the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, Madi says. She couldn't says, care less a man. if people are there. Madi warns said. the others at least. There's a man on the beach. I see him. Oh, she sees him. She just ignores him. Taryn. Keep pulling. Okay. Keeping he an eye on... He doesn't move. Can we make him out as we get closer? Yeah, absolutely. He looks to be a man in his late 50s. Uh, he's got a he's, he's got steel grey... A steel grey beard and, and hair. Uh, same same colour, obviously. He looks like he's in good physical form. Um, yeah, I think I know who this is without even... We've never seen him? Nope, you've never seen him. Uh, then I don't care. You probably should, considering what I suspect he's about to do to us. I have no idea who he is. I don't. Well, I don't know know who he is, but I have a pretty damn good idea who he is. So we we just be on your guard, for God's sake. Mm. She still hums <laughs> calmly. Take a moment to talk to me, he says, when you get closer. Hello. Hello. Who are you? That depends that entirely on you. I can be a friend if you want. I like friends. I'm Madi. I am pleased to meet you, Madi. Why Do have we have stopped? Because this one, the man says and nods to Madi, is intelligent enough to stop and talk when an opportunity presents itself. You will make it before, no, uh, before daybreak if you stop and talk to me. Terran stops because everyone else is stopping and it wouldn't be nice to, you know, drag poor Marty into the net so he's gonna roll around in it. What do you want? I want to offer you a way to set everything right. Let's hear it. Well, I know you've all lost a lot and that can be changed. For a price, and you are not the ones who will pay the price. Who will? Someone else who is dear to you. Who? I don't know exactly, but someone else who is dear to you. But you can make that choice. I accept. But the yeah. um, it might be Liffy. I don't care if it's Liffy. Have you got Buddy gives him the look of, are you insane? <laughs> he, lo he looks... just stares uh, he, over at him. He looks uh, at, at Madi, and there's this, this blank stare, uh, or this blank look in his, his eyes, and he just says, they... they got to Aideen. If I can bring her back, 
I will. But you, I will you burn the it. entire world to bring her back. The man That's strokes his, his beard and, and nods and looks at, at Liam. That is a noble enough sentiment. Would she appreciate it? <laughs> I'm pretty I sure if not... she comes back and the world is burning, she will hate him for the rest of his life. Does Taryn say that? Yeah, she does. Liam looks at Taryn and says, Shut the fuck up, Taryn. You don't know the first thing about Aideen. But you Taryn do. just holds his gaze. Tully looks to the man and says, Go on. There is a place where all of this evil originates. I am nobody of particular importance. I bring news and signs and messages, that's all. There is a place where it all begin, began and where it will all end. And you can end it there. You can find uh, Alistair McAlpin there and put a final end to this. Out of character, Alistair? Uh, sorry, no, not Alistair. You killed him earlier. Uh, my bad. Kenneth. Kenneth. Kenneth McAlpin. Yes, you killed Alistair <laughs> in a previous. I don't know why, but you killed him in, in a previous well, episode, obviously. Yeah. Well, point yep. was, we, we haven't been sh we haven't been sure because we killed him back at the end of the rite of passage, but then we heard his voice in yes. the um, Amarach sure. exactly. building. Yes, you did. So but who knows what's who yes. knows with him? No, he he, uh, he <laughs> says um, he does say Kenneth. Sorry, it's my okay. my bad. That's that's fine. Um. He says, yes, I can, uh, uh, set it right, kill him, finish this. It doesn't have to end this way. I'm not telling you what you must do. I'm telling you that if you do, something else, which is horrible, will happen. I just don't know what it is. I'm giving you a choice, that's all. So you don't actually know no. how much will change and how much will... I know that you can bring back what you have lost, whatever that is. There is, there is a price to pay for everything, and there is a price for that as well. If you're basically you are, saying we could go back in time. Not quite, but close. Remember what Liffy said. This might be the moment. We don't know that, do we? Those who have died have all been female. Yes, and those who may die as a consequence. Sorry, go on, Daddy. Perhaps that is what she meant to let her go. Maybe. But then we were had we promised, didn't we? Those of us that were there, we promised to push forward, to keep moving forward in the face of darkness. But which way is forward? Every way is forward. It depends on what way you are looking. You say you are of no consequence. No one is of no consequence. Some people are not important in the greater scheme of things. I am such a person. And yet, the greater scheme relies on its little cogs. Always. You expect us to just believe you? To take you at your word? I don't expect anything. I don't expect anything. I am making an offer, and I would not blame you for not taking it. If you wish 
to continue without doing anything else, I will move aside and you will reach your destination before sunrise. I can promise you that. I am not your enemy. And we will have restored Liffy to her full power. We will be able yes. to vanquish the invaders. Yes. And we will still have lost what we've lost. Yes. And what of Kenneth McAlpin? He will still be at large, I take it. He will be... Yes, but not here. He is here for a very specific purpose. Once he has accomplished that, he will go back whence he came. In his case, that would be Scotland. His purpose here must be... I, I think his purpose here was Ross, and his purpose here might be you, Liam. He brought with him weapons. Yes, and he three. Wants, he wants them to be used. Can Tara make a roll for any of this? Oh, yeah. She has a problem solver. Sure. Go because ahead. this does really sound like, well, we can't actually let the bastard go. Because when will he then strike? And do we even have a chance to do anything about it? Is that a pure intelligence roll or. Yes, that would be. I mean, she... Actually, no, it would be intelligence plus enigmas. Oh, one of the things she's good at. Huh. May I yes. roll as well? Yes, you yes, may. You all may, if let you wish, if you have it. The off chance. The off chance. Let, you might get. let me have a lot of tens. Yes, please. And well, so you so got well, well, a few tens. Cool. Well, if he doesn't have a an actual extra thing in it, then it mm. won't actually help him. That's still no. four successes. Yay! Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, no successes, unfortunately, for Taryn, but uh, two successes... I will use uh, willpower to fix it. All right, so you, you get one success. Uh, Deadeye, you have two successes. Tally, you have four. Mm -hmm. What exactly is it you want to know? <laughs> <sighs> well, <laughs> Taryn's idea was that she's a problem solver. Yes. In her analytical mind what would be the best choice. I'm they already know what they've lost. Yes. She's already seen, well, McAlpin will just go back and shit like that. Mm -hmm. But if we end him before shit happens, then maybe we have actually ended a bigger evil. Yes. It's just, how does she weigh this? The thing is, you, you know what you have lost. You mm -hmm. are not sure what you will lose if you take this creature man up on his... Uh, on his offer. You have no idea what loss that will result in, uh, but he has said that you will lose something else. The, the, there will Something else which is dreadful will happen instead. You just have no idea what that will be. So mm -hmm. the question here really is whether Taryn feels that the losses already sustained are uh, 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 however horrible they might be, if those losses are somehow acceptable and and uh, let's deal with the losses we have suffered that we know about, or would she be willing to risk it and lose something else which she doesn't know what is? That's That's really the decision you have to come up with. That is not what she's thinking about at all. Okay. She might know what she's already lost. And she doesn't know what she might lose. The thing is, McAlpin. Yes. If we don't end him, yes. would it be too dangerous a thing to let loose, let go back? Uh, having him running around would always be horrible. And there is the litany saying, combat the worm wherever it is found and whatever form it takes. Yeah. Does she have an idea if what they're doing with the Liffy here would end... If they go back, no. will that all be undone? You have no idea. As for my role, Mardi is, is excellent at understanding connections, so I would like for him to try and understand if this is connected 
to Liffy's, uh, well, I won't call it a prophecy, but warning. You're pretty, You're pretty sure, sure that, that it is, is. yes. Some th that, that would make perfect sense, that this is, this is something that, that ties in with the warning that she made. Liffy did right. specifically warn you that she, you yeah. must be willing to let her die, uh, but she never said who she is. No. no, and the th the thing is, as as I see it as a player, mm -hmm. we've lost more than one her. We've lost a couple mm -hmm. um, in the during this session alone. And she was very she she didn't say them. Nope. She said her. Yes. Plus plus, there's something else to think about. We've already seen Ross's dead by impaled with extreme prejudice. Ross was. One of the last great hopes for the, the for the modern Fina, he was perhaps one of the great last great Re's of of it. We know that Siobhan, his immediate successor, is dead. Tara is overrun. If we continue as it is, we might expel them. But the damage done to the Tara Sept and to its and to, to the spiritual home and spiritual leader of all the Fina across the world ha is irrevoc irrevocable. So, quite frankly, if there's a chance to reverse that. Uh, that's what Tally's thinking of. It, yes. it, it can't help but think obviously it'll bring Mam back, it'll bring Adine back, it'll bring all of them back, but it's the fact that Tara has been damaged and that cannot be accepted. Even if... It, I even... think... My, I, I've already made up what Maddie wants to do, but I think just because he's a little iffy about this, he would like to sense Worm. Yes. yes. Uh, <laughs> Leah was about to ask him to do that. <laughs> I haven't actually Great asked my think think alike. Alike. I haven't yep. actually asked my questions yet, have I? Nope. No, yeah. you haven't. Let's get let's get your questions. Um What can I say? Um ye... Yes, uh, basically does this is is the situation as I have previously described it? Accurate is yes, the situation. It is. Yeah, that is that is in fact exactly the situation you're faced with right now. Is that the 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 situation right now as you see it is if you take this man's offer and and um, and go with whatever it is he wants to do, you may risk undoing all you've done to save the Liffy. It may all have been for naught. For all you know, she could be the her that Liffy referred to herself because she didn't know either who it was that it referred to. So that could be it. She could be referring to herself. But at the same time, if you do, uh, if if you don't take his offer, you yourself, you put it as you said. Uh, Ross is dead. Siobhan is dead. Tara is overrun. The Fina's f spiritual home is going to be destroyed, or at least, as you said, irrevocably damaged. Uh, the the, uh, um, the 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 entire um, the entire uh, tribe is going to be you know going it, it risks unraveling. Quite frankly, this could be if that happens, it could lead to the the decline and eventual destruction of of the the uh, of of the whole tribe simply because. The tribe's identity is bound up on uh, on Tara and the legends. Hmm. Then, in Tally's mind, and thinking of the long-term goal, the choice is obvious. Um, I think Liam looks at his his packmates and asks them to to gather around. The Mahdi gathers, <laughs> gathers, whatever. <laughs> First Marty with God of Builds. <laughs> that sounds wrong. Yeah. He might just be chewing them. You don't know. That's true. Anyway. First of all, guys, I I apologize for my earlier um yeah, what I said. Um, we need to look at this as objectively as possible, because quite a lot depends on it, on whatever we decide right now. I have to say, 
that if we don't take this man's offer, my tribe will... It won't cease to exist, but it'll suffer greatly. However, we've all seen what happened in the wolf pen, in the zoo. And we might be able to use that to, to minimize the damage. Think what... Think of the significance of having a descendant of Kachulan himself <clears throat> walk in this day and age. <clears throat> we know what we've lost. We don't know what we what we'll lose if we if we do accept the offer. Thing is, I don't think we can let him go. If we don't get him here, there's no saying where he'll strike next. And next time, we won't no. be as strong to actually stand against him. Remember, though, if, and I'm not saying I am, but if I'm one of the, the people he wants, will practically serve me on a silver plate to him. In this, this battle, in, in this great battle where Ross has already been slain by a by a spear, I think there is a, some significance to the event itself, which is this 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 great battle we're currently in. What do you think? Well. I know that Owl told me to not run away and to stay with my family. So I will stay with my family. Unicorn said to be brave. But I don't know which choice lends itself more to bravery. I don't know if taking this person, this being's offer is the cowardly choice or not. Personally, I think in the long run, not taking his help could do more damage, but we just don't... It could, it could unravel everything. We might free Dublin and Ireland, but what of Athena? Even if you were to reveal yourself, even if you could prove that you were Kushulan's heir, would it be enough? Or would it be too well, little too late? Taliesin, you already know what you have lost, and you know the pain that will give you. So, braving the unknown is probably the brave action. <laughs> that is a fantastic way of looking at it, Hardy. Thank you. All right. Fine. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Were you going to say anything else, Chris? No, just Tally just nods. Oh, okay. Sorry, I I interrupted. It's fine. Taryn? what do you think? Might be muted. No, she's thinking. Oh, okay. I know what I've lost, but I don't know what I could lose. The thought of it being Liffy? Then what was it all for in the first place? Who is playing Skype, Moner? I don't know. I hope it's not me. I can hear. I, I heard it, it too. It was a very heavy breathing. <laughs> yes, it wasn't me actually either. Uh, I think Madi will answer though. Well, in a way, it was for Kat. Maybe she's the one we have to let go. 
If we just don't do what we have done already, then there's nothing to say that we won't make a new thing to get it back. Yes, we can always try again. But it doesn't seem that way, does it? Well, something we monumentally we yeah. horrible. And quite frankly, losing Cat at this point doesn't seem monumentally horrible. Well, we won't know until we get there. I'd say there are many over the one then. I just hope it's the right her we're letting go of. We think we agree then. We thing accept is, the offer. Let, yes. The thing is, letting go of her could be individually to all of us. It could, but there's we we can't know. No. F as. Maybe. As as I see it, I'm 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 I hate to say this standing beside Liffy, but we can't really use that that warning for anything in this case because it could mean just about anything. It could be losing the Liffy. It could mean losing uh, <laughs> uh, losing Aideen. It could be losing cats. We don't know. It could be losing more than one. It could be losing a part. Yes. I don't know either. Be losing but I the say we do it. I won't let Kenneth stand after this. And either way, we will all be there. So we can do something together if it is bad. Could we could we speak <clears throat> to Liffy even if it's just to say goodbye and I'm going to uh, Liam looks looks at at Marty and in in a low voice, just to make sure the uh, the, the the guy on up on the bridge doesn't hear it. He asks, "Did you did you sense anything?" No, I sense nothing. I don't think it worked. Oh, okay. This one really is unknown. Okay. Well, as as it seems, we've. Come to a decision. I think if you if you if you feel you need to to speak to to Liffy, then now might be as good a chance as any. Yeah, Taryn at least goes to the bank of Liffy. Yes, Marty does too. Yeah, Liam does too. All right. So you go to the the bank. You said, and yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, what do you do when there? Call upon the Liffy. Yes. Well, she appears, sits down on the edge of the the, the, the river bank, and looks at all of you. Probably see us all ashen faced. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Terry just sits down beside her. Yes. I don't know if you know the guy up there. You probably don't, though. I don't know. He seems familiar somehow, but. Yeah. He has, he has given us a choice. We can, we can accept his offer and undo, the, the, at least get back the ones we've lost. Yes. Tonight. However, if we do that, something else, something terrible, happens. Yes. If we do it. It should be said. We will be able to face Kenneth McAlpin and hopefully put him to rest. Right. The thing is, we don't know what this dreadful thing that'll happen is. No. For all we know, by accepting the offer, we could undo everything we've done for you tonight. I see. We don't know. We simply don't know. But, but what if what do you want what do you want to do? It is 
and he looks at each one of his his pack mates in turn and then continues it is uh, we've decided to accept his offer give us a chance to face Kenneth McAlpin and destroy him that is by far the braver choice you don't know what you will lose you might lose your lives you might lose yes. everything you've done for me you might lose other people that are dear to you you don't know but no. you are willing to take that chance that is something to be proud of you are the bravest pack I think I've ever had Should it prove possible to do all this again, though, we will. We shall see. We don't even know if this will. We undo. don't. We don't even know what'll happen. No. But should everything we've done for you tonight just be revoked, then there's nothing saying that we can't do it again. We don't know that for a fact either, but you must. But taking his. You must do the right thing but taking his choice I think this will be a goodbye for now at least I think it may be be careful likewise Taren gets up and heads towards the whip man on the bridge yes yeah, yeah Mario too yeah, Liam does so as well. He stands there and waits patiently for all of you to arrive. And he says, have you come to a decision? Uh, assuming that the Taliesin is also there. Um, yeah. L Liam then... <laughs> he just... He <coughs> nods. And, and says, yes, we will accept your offer. He nods, and again he strokes his beard, and he says, You see, there is no right or wrong answer to a question like the one I asked. Th there isn't. There will be consequences regardless, and you have to make a choice. the bravery lies in not running from the choice but accepting that regardless of what you do you will lose something and then for you to go for what you believe is the greater chance of permanent good is admirable I have nothing but respect for that he says and he he smiles a very warm genuinely warm and and kindly smile he's got crinkles at his eyes you know that 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 kind mm. of, of smile that that uh, really does look like something your grandfather might give you <laughs> oh my god this is how santa claus looks in summer yeah with shorter beard and not as much gut exactly uh, he, he um he, uh, um, uh, as as he stands there, he he holds out uh, a hand, his his right hand, and and does almost like a uh, like he's you know that that motion if you're spreading grain if on on a on a field if you're throwing throwing uh, something loosely uh, in front of you, and he mm. makes that kind of of, of motion, and something um, dust like leaves his 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 fingers and you um and and for a moment you have this same feeling you had the few times you've gone into the the queen's court in the in the bleeding horse and you can see him for what he is and he too is in fact a she mm. you see uh, he is wearing mm. he is wearing armor 
it's older than what you've seen the queen wear it's much older it's older in style it's uh, he's also <coughs> in 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 this as you see him there he is m he is even more alien looking than a she in 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 their natural form he he is an older thing than they are and it's he is he is next to him you couldn't see this before but next to him leaned against the bridge is a shield and a spear and he reaches out and he takes the spear uh, in hand and he holds it out towards you all of you and he says you will need this it is meant to kill the king of the fomorians I think you know who that is. Uh, if <sighs> Liam steps forward and takes the spear. Yes. He he lets you have it and he nods and he says you are you are all heroes regardless of what happens next. Please just remember that. And he... And then he does this, again, this motion, but this time with both hands, like he's spreading dust. And you guys are almost covered in... in, in everything goes hazy. You're, you, you feel like you are standing in a glitter storm, quite frankly, uh, for a moment. And then when you... When you regain your senses, you realize you're in the same place. But there's no bridge and there's no city to be seen anywhere nearby if you look upstream towards the the, the uh, towards the the ocean you can see a small village much further along but that's it well. and the village is modern <coughs> no Medieval? Older. It's Older. Iron Age, Bronze Age, probably even. You know, sort of oh. around the time that Kushula moved. Yeah. <laughs> Taran yeah. looks over at Liam and then at the others. Well, let's go. We made our choice. Yeah. Hmm. I guess this is why they call witches down on people. I suppose we head toward the village. You head towards the village. All well, right. do we see? Do we see any indication of a giant army of black and evil? Was it scheming evil black and midnight hags? <laughs> <laughs> oh, very funny, Shakespeare. Very funny. Um, uh, no, you uh, not towards. And in, in fact, the uh, the the village down there looks quite peaceful. Hmm. Well, maybe it's the wrong way to go then. Maybe. No, it may still be the right way to go. We might as well check it out. Um, Can't be that we have to actually kill Kenneth before he becomes Kenneth McAlpin. The bad who thing. Knows? Who knows? Well, Kenneth McAlpin is medieval, so this would be hundreds of years before he would nominally be born, but yes. And then his great, 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 great. Great grandmother. Something yes. like that. Yes. Without you head to, down. Yeah. You head down towards the the uh, the village, hmm. and it's a bit of a walk, obviously. Sure. But nothing is bothering you on the way. You you are allowed to walk. You also realize that it takes you about an hour to walk there, and the sun doesn't move in the sky. We are in the Umbra. Yeah. But even so, where, yes, exactly. But where, you know, even though in the near Umbra, then then you you still had an idea that time was passing. Not so much here. You, well, you are, you are caught in a moment in time. But you can move. Yeah, I I were about to say that. Yeah, but we just disappeared from the near Umbra. Yes. So <laughs> we're no longer in Kansas, Toto. Nope, you're really not. You get down to the village, and and people are moving around. There are people living there. Does it even seem like they're seeing us? Oh yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It must look a bit odd, this collection of modern dressed individuals, or oh, modern by our standards. They, they, well, they don't seem to mind that, really. They don't. Uh, they don't. What they do is they see uh, all of you, and they see the spear uh, that, that Liam is, is carrying, and and then they notice who Liam is, and, and they all, you know, jaws drop, and, and they go, you know, slack-jawed, the lot of them, and and a whole lot of, of whispers of uh, <coughs> Kushulin is heard everywhere. Taran looks over at Liam. Does he still look like Liam? Yeah, he does. Looks perfectly normal. <laughs> I'm not uh, even going to question this. Just let's find out where we're going. We must find King of the Fomorians. Where? Probably hiding. He he. Uh, one one um, one man comes up to you. He looks suspiciously like the one you just spoke to, but he doesn't <laughs> seem to recognize you. Um, he, do he doesn't recognize you. He doesn't know who you guys are. Mm. But he says, please uh, forgive us, great hero. We, we did not know you would come. We expected that you would go directly to the Ari Atara. How may we be of any service to your greatness? Um, <sighs> Liam uh, looks at the man and, and, and smiles and says, um, No, no. Um, no, you, you shouldn't. Shouldn't worry about that. Um, I'm looking for a man. Yes, yes. Goes by the name of Kenneth. That sounds like a foreign name. Yes, it is. Does it belong to one of the Milesians? The Ari is gathering his host at, at, at Tara, we know of this to fight them. Well, then that's where we'll go. It is quite a while to, to walk. Do you require horses, my lord? No, no, no. Um, we will get there fast enough. Don't you worry about that. As, as, you, as you say, my lord. Have you at least have you rations for the for the journey? We will be happy to provide them. I would be grateful if you would Absolutely. provide our traveling party with with some some rations. He he uh, makes a, 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 a hand gesture and he smiles. You know, he's clearly happy that he's able to do something useful for for you know an, an important person. Uh, this this is clearly something he <laughs> considers an honor. And and he comes back a, a a moment later. He makes a hand gesture, so sort of like wait here, wait here, and then he he heads off. He comes back not long after with um, a, a, a sack uh, in which uh, is bread. Um, it actually smells kind of nice. It's it's baked over an open fire, obviously. So even though it's very rough in 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 grain, it smells really nice. Mm -hmm. um, and there's some uh, there's some uh, some uh, dried meat. Uh, in there as well. Hmm. I thank you, sir. It is our absolute honor to to be of help, uh, and and we do look forward to hearing of of the uh, of the battle. We, uh, please, um, when you get to to Tara, my lord, uh, uh, please let uh, the Ari know that that um, that we have sent every. Uh, every man able to hold a weapon we have none left and when you look around the village he's actually telling the truth there are women mm. and old men and young children but no men of of fighting age mm. I shall do so I shall do so he will know thank you mm. and then he, he says um, uh, he says uh, um, go with Dana 
and out of game. Dana is like Tuath, uh, the Tuath de Dana, and it literally means the people of Dana. It's the the oldest goddess of Ireland. Okay. Okay. Well, he he then replies with something like and and likewise something, yes. something uh, a similar. fitting reply. Yes. Yeah. It would simply be, and you. And then, yeah, you know. that, <laughs> that he says that. Yeah. <laughs> and then, then you guys head off. Or yep. how? Yes, all right. Well, there aren't any roads to follow to Tara, but you have a pretty good idea what direction it is you have to run in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, run we do. Yes. And obviously, uh, yes. you guys have an advantage in that you are, in fact, able to go down on all fours and run, except, of course, for Taren. Well, considering that... Um, that's a good point. Can Liam actually be holding that spear and shield and go lupus? No, he's only got the spear and not the shield. He only got the spear. No, who, no we should have taken the shield with us. So, so he can either uh, hold it in his mouth like a stick, or he can ask Marty to to. <clears throat> Dedication still makes it so that you have your stuff in wolf form, right? Yes. Yes. Either way, he can still bring it. You could, for yeah. that matter, go you know move a bit away from the the uh, village and go Krenos and run. Even if you don't run that much faster, it's a bit faster, and you have a lot more stamina. That might be the best. Yep. Before we do that, um, the provisions we've been provided, because I'm getting very paranoid about this legend now. Yes. Is there any way of telling what kind of meat the meat is? Uh, it, yes. It's, uh, it's, um, uh, it's uh, dried and smoked uh, mutton. Mutton, okay. Yes. Just saying. Mustn't let... Liam eat any kind of dog meat because if he eats any kind of dog meat, his his strength will be diminished. Yes, yes, indeed. Shall... No, this is you are absolutely right, but this is in fact mutton. That's good. Yes, as we all know, mutton is in fact not a type of dog unless something is. Oh, are you wrong. sure it's not? Uh, it's just mutton and not mutt meat. <laughs> <laughs> ha 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 ha! Yes, it's mutton. No. no. Sorry, <laughs> I'm standing in for Fena. Yes, yes, that's that's. that's... <laughs> Uh, yes. Anyway, wish it. yes. Yeah. But you guys get moving towards uh, towards Tara in that case. Am I right? Yep. Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. You uh, you do in fact. Uh, I guess you you then you go by by uh, by Krenos, as I said. Yes. Okay. Fine. Well, it takes you several hours to get there, but as I said, the th there is no feeling of time moving. Time doesn't pass. Uh, so it takes you well over three hours to get there. Uh, well, you can run, so let's say two and a half hours to get there. But it's you know there's no road. You're not quite sure of the distance or the the direction, but you find it after about two and a half hours. And and when you get there, you do see um, Tara as it would have looked at its. Um, um, uh, at its at its most uh, um, at its grandest, quite frankly, there is a uh, there there are these these hills that you already knew of, but there are uh, there there's a palisade uh, on one of them and a smaller palisade on another. Um, there are um, there is a um, an outer. Uh, perimeter of <clears throat> of uh, um, a much larger one, which is is uh, a, a round uh, enclosure. I'm just gonna basically here. I'm I'm trying to find a good photo that I can that I can link so that you can see how it looks from above. And I think this one is good. So yes, mm -hmm. here we go. I'm just gonna show you what that looks like. There you go. Um, Cool. Oh, very yes, nice. and and the thing is that right outside, uh, if you look up in the top, um, in the the top right hand corner of that image, right, you can see there's a church up there, right? Yep. But right beneath that area with the church, you can see these almost these two slightly dark lines in the in the ground, correct? Yep. Yes. There you see a um, 
Actually, that's a big fat lie. It's directly opposite from that. It's on the other side. It's on the left-hand side, but directly opposite from those two lines. You see over there is a a a long hall. It's a it's a wooden hall. Uh, it looks for those of you who are familiar with what they look like. It's a bit like a vi Viking longhouse, mm -hmm. except this thing is enormous. It's 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 absolutely massive. It's more than fifty meters long. Wow. And it's it's absolutely beautifully constructed. There are um, there are uh, uh, the carvings in the wood. Is, uh, they are exquisite. It is an absolutely beautiful place. And obviously, there's a, a village. You know, people are living close to this fortified area. That's the way it goes. And and even though it's not absolutely massively huge, because we as twenty fourth twenty first century people, we we are uh, you know sort of. A, accustomed to things being very large there's no question if you compare to the village that you saw down by the river this place is fairly sizable and the fortifications are quite strong looking this this is a place worthy of a king it's about to say this is pretty clearly this is definitely the re's this is the, the seat, this is the seat of the re there's no question mm -hmm. And as you walk up towards this this strange depiction of Tara, this strange place that actually is Tara, um, we're going to end it there until next time with you guys approaching. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Can we... Weird question to ask. I don't suppose traveling in this magical method um, with the help of some magical ally back in time to this place gives us any kind of gnosis or anything back, does it? None whatsoever, no. Damn you. It's a good try, though. Do we, do, we at least, do we at least get some XP? Yes, you get 4 XP for tonight, guys. Cool. So much XP and nothing to spend it on. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> I will say that um, we will be back here in, in a week, of course, with more uh, a song Atara, and uh, as I think everybody can probably sense, this is this is as I've said in the previous few weeks, this is the home run stretch. But um, yes, we will see you all uh, in a week from now for more song Atara, and for now, bye, bye, bye. -bye. bye, -bye.